Panthor, attack! Whoa! Welcome back, true believers, Elite Legend, back at you guys with another Masters of the Universe Origins review. All right, folks, today we are taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Prince Adam Sky Sled. This is a jet powered rescue rocket. Now, I know you see there, new for 20, we're in 2021. However, Walmart was in control of the Masters of the Universe Origins line for 2020, and that was a miserable failure. So, thankfully, the folks at Target were actually able to come through and deliver this to the Elite Legend for your entertainment purposes. Well, they didn't actually deliver it to me, but I found it at the store. And here we see the incredible artwork on the back. And you see Prince Adam there finding the testicular fortitude to stick it to Skeletor and Beast Man. When his friends are in danger, Prince Adam leaps onto his sky sled and flies into the rescue. There we see the heroic warriors and the evil warriors that comprise the new for 20 line, which is no longer new. There we see Prince Adam on the sky sled, and we see some instructions that seem easy enough for the Elite Legend to follow. We'll find out in just a few moments when we put this sky sled together. Now, this is a beautiful packaging, so thankfully it is collector friendly. So for this segment, we're going to go ahead and grab the power sword. I have the power! And the power sword isn't strong enough for this. So Elite Legend is going to have to grab the X-Acto knife. I have the X-Acto! And now, let's go ahead and slide Prince Adam out of his plastic prison. And it slides right out. And there we see the beautiful Sky Sled and Prince Adam. So now that we slid Prince Adam and the Sky Sled out of the box, I cannot wait to test out the modern posing and retro play. But first, let's go ahead and free the Sky Sled. So after intense struggle, Elite Legend was able to get everything out of the plastic entrapment. As you saw, Prince Adam snapped in half, but this these figures are designed to be able to have interchangeability. So it literally just pops right back into place. And there you see Prince Adam in all of his cowardly glory. Let me introduce you to Prince Adam. Hi, I'm... It doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> Skeletor, why did you have to go ahead and do that? Silence, you fool! Who are you? Unhand me! I don't think we have to worry about Skeletor for the rest of this video. If you smell... What the rock is cooking. Sorry about that, folks. Elite Legend gets a little carried away, especially since I have that new Masters of the Universe Snake Mountain or Rattlesnake Mountain playset that I just opened up yesterday in my massive unboxing. So check that out in Elite Legends unboxing playlist. So here we see Prince Adam, and you can see that he has his classic outfit. However, the jacket is not flocked. <laughs> flocked and he has the standard masters of the universe origins articulation his arm goes up that high goes around this is not going to really hinder the articulation but it's a soft plastic or rubber so you don't want to mess with it too much there is no bicep swivel you will find your swivel in the elbow he does have a good 90 degree angle there he can twist his wrist he has a hinge there this is generally um, the only articulation you'll get at the waist. He rotates at the waist. There is no ab crunch on these Origins figures. The head goes side to side. It goes back and forward. Kicks up just slightly. Can do a Prince Adam split. He has a knee articulation there that allows for about 90 degrees. 
He has a rotation at the knee. There's rotation at his furry boot cuff. He has a rocker and hinge at the ankle. And this guy is ready for action. Now here we see Prince Adam holding up his magical sword. And he becomes He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. And here we see Prince Adam in the center, the 2020 He-Man on the left, and to the far right we see the new for 21 Battle Armor He-Man. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Sky Sled. And this thing is awesome. You see the gun there, you see the side guns, you see this cool side panel there. There you see the exhaust, and look at how cool that is. You can see a little control panel, and of course the handlebars. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at the bottom. You can see there is a little hole here that you take this little shaft and you kind of plug in there. So let's go ahead and do that. And oh, did I just break it? No, I did not break it. So you want to click this into there you go. And he's in there and you can hear the clicking. So there you go. That's really cool. Now you have this blast effect and you just pop that right in there. And how cool is that? Look at that. You don't want to point it directly in the camera, though. You always want to maintain safety when you're on your sky sled and you have your blaster because you don't want this. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So now you take this base, well, the base, and you plug this in here. Does it have to go a certain way? No, it does not have to be a certain direction. And you just want to pop this in there. Bam. Snaps right in. Great success. So Elite Legend is on a roll today. I don't think I even needed the directions. So there we see the Sky Sled fully assembled in all of its glory upon its base. That allows you to click it up and down. Now, you can see there are two additional panels that come in this package. There's also an additional head. Now, a mysterious powers of knowledge were revealed to me when I was watching my buddy Raymond Z's review on the Sky Sled, and he was able to reveal um, these pieces. And right away, I knew this provides the opportunity to engage in enhanced levels of play when you add a second Sky Sled to your collection, which Elite Legend actually has done. So... We're gonna, I'm going to open this up off camera, and we're going to engage in a little bit of a sky sled battle in just a few moments. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at that additional piece one more time. And we're going to take a look at the additional panels once more. And we're going to try to figure out how to actually install them. And if you know Elite Legend, you know that it isn't always easy for the Elite Legend to follow instructions. These look simple enough. Will Elite Legend be able to pull it off? So for this portion of the video, we're going to need this additional head and the two panels. And you can see the instructions here. Let's see if Elite Legend can follow along. Now, the one that you see before you has already been assembled. I do have a second that I just popped out of the package. So let's go ahead and see if Elite Legend can execute this move. So the first move, it looks like it wants you to pull the head off. I have to apply a little bit of pressure, and there you go. We got the first head off. Now, you want to take the other head, and you want to slide it in. You might want to spit on it a little bit so it slides in a little bit better, and bam. Nailed it. Now, here we see these little side panels. So, you want to go ahead and take one of these and cover it up. So, this one is nice and red. Um, that is appropriate for an evil warrior. So you just go ahead and you, is it, okay, so there's these little clips in here and you just want to, there you see the clip, and you just want to go ahead and make sure that you're able to get it to click in there. Huh. Doesn't seem to go in. So Elite Legend failed. You don't pop it on top of the existing one. You want to go ahead and if you look at the instructions, it doesn't really tell you that you can pop it off. So you have to figure that out for yourself. So you take your finger and you just pop this panel right off. Take the replacement. 
Bam. Look at that. So now we flip it around. I did it again. So now we go ahead and we go to the other side. And this one is a little harder to get in. There. Oh, no. You just take it from here. And bam. So you just take this one. And you now have a war sled for the evil warriors. And now Prince Adam has found the courage to challenge Skeletor and the evil warriors. But what's this? <laughs> Skeletor, I thought you were rock bottomed into a bottomless pit. How unpleasant it is to see you, you sniveling fool. So as you see, I was able to pop the additional Skeletor hands onto this extra Prince Adam. And unfortunately, I have a quality control issue. The folks over in China um, accidentally put two right hands on this Prince Adam figure. Luckily, I have this additional figure for the purposes of making a custom. So I didn't end up needing, well, I don't need this particular body. So here we see Prince Adam on the sky sled. He grips the handles, has pegs at the bottom of his feet, or peg holes at the bottom of his feet. You can articulate it. You can twirl it around. You see it has this cool base attached. And this gives you the opportunity to battle Skeletor and his evil warriors. You might want not want to click it back too far because he will start to fall. But there you see a beautiful sky sled. So that's the review, folks. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Are you a fan of the Evil Warriors or the Heroic Warriors? Are you a fan of the Sky Sled or the War Sled? Are you picking this up? Are you picking up multiples? Are you all in on the Masters of the Universe Origins line? If you are, check out Elite Legends playlists of Masters of the Universe Origins figures. Uh, very soon, I will be featuring the Masters of the WWE Universe so make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends' next videos. Please drop a like, leave a comment, helps the channel a lot. And until next time, make mine Motu!